everybody, Travis Ramos here with the Modern Bay Company. Uh, as you guys know, we do Subaru conversions into vintage Volkswagen Bay window buses. It's totally our thing. Uh, and actually, this is kind of funny, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're the only business, the only company in the world that only does what we do, uh, which is kind of cool. It sounds big, right? But it's kind of cool. Um, and this is what we specialize in. We don't do Vanigans, we don't do Gives, we don't do uh, Beetles, we don't do anything else except for Subaru conversions into bay window buses. But today's wrap is all about, so I bought myself a JDM motor. Um, <laughs> so I get a lot of inquiries uh, every week about folks who want to use a JDM motor in their bus, in their bug, and whatever they're using, um, doing Subaru conversion to, because JDM motors are relatively cheap, they're plentiful, um, and they're usually low mile, lo they have low miles on them. Um, and potentially have a lot of life left. So um, I give this piece of advice out a lot and I'll give it to you guys right now. If you have not bought a JDM motor yet, um, maybe don't do it. <laughs> Just gonna say it. So um, what you save on the front end, you're probably going to pay on the back end uh, through figuring out how to make it work and the headache associated with doing so. So uh, that said, if you're planning on just buying a JDM motor to use the long block from it, a relatively low mileage long block, uh, you might have good success with that. And you know, your uh, it's, it's a roll of the dice, right? Uh, some JDM motors are great. Some of them burn oil. Um, some of them have problems as far as mechanically, the long block itself. Uh, so it's still a bit of a, a roll of the dice, but if you're really on a budget, you really wanna go with the JDM motor. Um, I'm gonna show you the stuff that you're gonna need to essentially be guaranteed that you can use it in your USDM or US domestic market, United States spec um, Subaru. So, um, and I guess you know, I'll take a couple steps back. Uh, in general, if you were converting a JDM whole setup or a USDM whole setup, the pieces that you need to do that from making this thing run uh, from an electrical perspective, um, specifically, you need the main harness. So this guy is pulled from, there's the VIN tag, a 2002 Subaru Outback. If you're doing a donor vehicle, always just drill this tag off, keep it with you, uh, put it on your ECM when you're done. Uh, but, so this one's from a 2002. Uh, this is the main harness. Um, I've got another video and other stuff showing what this is all about, but this is the main harness. You need that piece. Um, this is, I'll pull it out of the bag here. This is the ECM, the computer, the engine control module. You'll need that that's matched to your main harness. So there we go on that. Uh, you will also need uh, behind me, I think you can see it in the video here. Um, <laughs> the complete intake uh, is the, the safest way to go from a, a donor motor that's gonna match up with your uh, JDM long block. So um, pull that guy off, boom. Um, so the complete intake uh, and everything on it, uh, all those sensors, the engine wiring harness uh, key, uh, and you may or may not need, you probably don't need these, but I've heard cases where you may, you may need the crank sprocket from your USDM donor vehicle, and you may need the left and right cam sprockets. A uh, quick way to check on your cam sprockets, usually, um, well, there's kind of a quick way to check. So, um, one, you can see, you can take a look at your sprockets and see if they match up to the USDM spec one. So uh, for automatics, for the crank, uh, crank position, no, uh, <laughs> crank sprocket, there we go. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, at least for this era and this vintage of uh, motors that we're using. Six uh, tangs on the crank sprocket. Those are pickups for the crank position sensor. Um, for the right side cam sprocket, those don't have any of those uh, pickups. Um, so that usually works, you don't have to worry about it. But for the left side cam sprocket, um, this one has two. Um, <laughs> this set that I'm holding doesn't actually match, but um, usually they'll have seven of these little pickups uh, on there. Um, but you need to make sure your cam and your crank sprockets match um, so that uh, everything plays happy together. So your ideal scenario, if you have not bought a JDM motor, um, your ideal scenario is always going to be to get a donor vehicle. Um, or uh, we sell complete kits, including all this stuff. Uh, if you, you know, want to buy that from us, it's wonderful. We'd love to, to uh, help you out uh, with your conversion. But your best bet, absolutely, get a donor vehicle, pull everything you need off of that. It's all already matched up. 
and you'll be good to go. But if you have a JDM motor and you're looking at using that motor, you need the main harness, you need the engine harness, uh, you need the computer, um, and ideally you need the complete intake setup. So this is a setup that we're doing for a customer. We're also gonna send them uh, the sprockets off of this motor as well, just to be 100% sure that uh, they're gonna be good to go whenever they get this all set up on their bus. So that's the overview. Uh, we're gonna get into it uh, a little bit here. I'm actually gonna pull this intake off um, and I'm gonna lay it all out and give you a couple shots of uh, the overview and all that stuff. So as you can see to my left, uh, this is what things end up looking like for modern Bay Motors. Uh, to my right is a crusty donor. Um, so what I'm gonna show you in a minute, it's, you know, it's a little dirty, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm a little self-conscious guys, <laughs> um, but we're gonna pull this whole intake off and then our customer can clean it up as, as they want. This is for a DIY conversion. So uh, we're obviously not gonna like sand blast and powder coat this for them and all that stuff. But um, that's the, the intro, that's the wrap and let's get rolling. That's what we got left of this guy. All right, so I'm back. Uh, things got a little wild pulling this guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I often suffer from if you give a mouse a cookie syndrome. Uh, so I took this off and I was like, ah, I've already got the, all the tools out. I've got the lung block here. So I went ahead and broke down the lung block so I can send the core off um, and get the heads rebuilt. So here we are though, we're back, JDM setup. This is the final overview. I think I way over explained this in the first part of the video, but just in case I didn't, I'm gonna like super over explain it just so everybody knows this is the stuff you need to do a JDM motor uh, conversion uh, for your Subaru conversion, whether it's in a bay window bus or really anything else. So things you will need, um, the complete intake is the best bet. Uh, you may be able to get away with uh, pieces and parts, but complete intake, all of its sensors, the throttle body for sure, um, all these guys, um, and especially if you're converting from uh, drive-by-wire to um, wire-driven, <laughs> throttle cable-driven, um, you'll need this guy. Um, but that's uh, you know one huge piece that you'll need from your US domestic market, your USDM donor. So complete intake, boom, that's it. Uh, then we have your uh, cam sensor number one, uh, your right side one. We have cam sensor number two. This one has the seven uh, pickups for the cam sensor and your, I say sensor, cam sprocket. There we go. Cam sprockets, that's what we're talking about. Uh, crank sprocket right here. Uh, this one has the six pickups. Um, these guys all match our VIN. Uh, we've got our VIN tag right there. And of course, the, these were all pulled from the same vehicle, so we know it. Um, We've got our ECM, USDM, ECM, which works well with all this stuff and is designed for all this stuff. And then we've got our main harness, which I will show you the finished product of this guy as well uh, once we get to that point. So we've got our main harness that we've carefully pulled from the Subaru, including everything we need for it. So like I said, uh, we'll carry this forward the next step and I'll show you the complete kit before it goes out the door. Um, but in terms of everything you need to collect, for your conversion using a JDM long block, this is it. Uh, as always guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for reading online. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we actually just had someone sign up for another JDM conversion kit uh, like this today. Um, actually two people in Canada um, have recently have signed up for, uh, for this kit and bought the kit. So um, you can go online, you can shoot us an email, info at modernbay.co. Um, if you need help, leave a comment, you can get a hold of us uh, one way or another. So uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.